My name is Mark. Welcome back to part two of the uh, Tab Trailer 2015 Max S sink improvement. We're putting in a bigger sink today. The last video, um, we took out the sink and the faucet and all that in prep for doing this. This is the first step in putting in the new sink. When you get a sink, you're going to get a template like this. Um, this particular template can run on two different size sinks. Um, so what you need to do is just cut out around the template um, to make a, uh, uh, a mark on your sink about how big this, this hole needs to be. So I'm going to do that now. Here's the template all cut out. Good pair of scissors. On this particular sink there are little um, mounts underneath the sink, little tabs, and you need to leave these in place so that when you put this template against the wall or against the back, you can account for those those uh, clips being in place. So there's my template. Let's go outside and put it on the sink and see how we want to place this sink. Back. Um, here's a warning to everybody. Double check everything. Now you can see that I cut very close. You can see my line here. See how nice I cut that, that template? I cut that template out just fine. And my sink is a QS1 181 6 8. It's a model number of the sink. But when I place this template carefully over the top, look at this. The template does not match the shape of the sink. And where these tabs, the hold down tabs are, look at where my tabs actually are. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? So, this template that was supplied in the box with the sink doesn't match this sink. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to make my own template. And we'll be back at that later. Bye bye. I finished taking very careful measurements of the new sink and I've made a new template. This originally was the box that this sink came in, so um, I just taped it together and very, very accurately and carefully made a template for it. If you look, though, on the existing template, the one they shipped with me, look at how far off. Had I cut that, that sink wouldn't even have fit in the hole, and those tabs would have left big holes in the side of the counter next to the sink. This that they shipped with it, even though it's got the right model number on it, so... That is my new template, and if we place it on top of the sink and center it, you can see that it will make a perfect fit, just the right size. And I've got marks for where the tabs go, so I can etch, just nip them out a little bit if necessary. But there you go, there's my marks for the hold down. So now, <laughs> two hours later, we can head back to the to the camper and start laying this template around and see where I want it to go. See you in a minute. Welcome back to my trailer. So here's the original opening. Here's my new template. And it's kind of interesting, um, some ideas that have come up because I've got this template now. Um, the original sink was a little bit wider than it was deep or tall. Um, the new sink, the same way. The new sink going to sit something like that, or was planned to sit like that. Um, as close as I can get it to the front lip and still clear the cabinet. And far enough back 
that it covers those faucet holes in the back um, and this would do it. Um, my drain was going to be over here but this check this out this is kind of interesting suppose we turn this by 180 degrees like that now I can use the original cut on this side or originally was you can see the cuts just right there if I don't cut that edge and that's all the closer I go that I can bring this much closer to the edge to where I can just barely clear this and it covers those back holes just fine it leaves a lot of space here for cooking utensils and setting spoons down and stuff really nice but that that still exists but the really nice thing about this if I put this here I can put a really nice faucet right here right on the edge of that and it will come up and go right a nice big faucet so it's not all close to the edge a lot of you made that comment that you wanted a, a sink that reaches farther in the middle of the sink this I'm gonna have lots of room I won't be hitting the screen I won't be hitting the window any of that with that faucet back there it'll be right here and I won't have to reach back so far to get to it it'll be right here um, single handle thing come right up I've got plenty of space to put that faucet right there so that's feature number one is it gives me a good place for a faucet feature two it leaves me with more space over here feature three it covers the back holes while still being real close to the front and feature four this I hadn't thought about it's gonna put my drain back there which is really nice because if you think about what's going on underneath here that trap that was here I'm gonna put a smaller trap there but that'll also that trap will be way back at the top of the trailer back there um, way in the top way in the back none of this so that no matter how far my trap comes down it won't interfere with the cabinet space in here way cool so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna mount the sink lengthwise like this drain in the back faucet over here nice space here and close to the front counter that's our next step now you want to be real careful when doing this you only get one chance at this I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna cut it that's it if you make a mistake you got to replace this whole countertop so be careful double triple quadruple check everything you do before you make that cut see you in a bit back i now have this placed exactly where i want it to go lots of room for a faucet lots of room for spoons and stuff as you're cooking only one inch away from the edge of the counter so that it clears the cabinet underneath it's as close as i can get it the drain in the back so that the uh, the trap is way back out of the way It'd be great I love that part um, so now take this marker go around the perimeter very carefully then make a final 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 checks and cut it with a jigsaw there back we go there's my cut line this line we're gonna just keep just the way it is it's where the sink was cut down in here cut down in here see those holes will be cut out my problem here is going to be cutting to the back of this but my jigsaw is going to hit that so I may have to cut that from underneath but there'll be a little bit of work but I'm going to double check this one more time to make sure it's absolutely where I want it to be you can see that I've got the sink over this way as far as I can so that it clears this my cut will be right along that edge that's nice um, should be just just exactly where I want it um, I've got it about an eighth of an inch the whole I've got the mark about an eighth of an inch bigger it should give me just enough to jiggle it to get it square if I'm not quite exactly right anyway we're back, back to go bit. jigsaw wood cutting bit good hearing protection got eye protection on we're gonna cut that out wish me luck welcome back you can see I've got that cut most of the way done the only place I couldn't get to was from here to here because I can't get that jigsaw in that corner so this is a keyhole saw and I will just from underneath follow that line um, we'll be back woot 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 <laughs> look at that that guy fit in that hole absolutely perfectly nice 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 um, the drain is in the back so that the uh, trap will be out of the way I have plenty of room here to put a, a faucet right there nice big tall thing if I wanted so I've got lots of room for sprayer in the sink 
being horiz being vertical as opposed to horizontal means that my life has plenty of space here to put spoon holders and salt and pepper shakers and stuff. But didn't that turn out nice? Really, really, really cool. Um, <laughs> excellent. So now all I've got to do is I'm going to put a, a layer of caulk, lift this back out, put a layer of caulk around the perimeter, set it back in it, and let it dry. And I'm going to get some plumbing parts and faucet part. But as far as the sink goes, it's installed. We'll see you in the next video. Number three, plumbing and test. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you later.